Hey everybody, Orfeolus here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Black and White 2. Last time, we explored Route 8, more of a series, going through this rainy route. And this time, we're going to head through Asura City. Not Icarus City, Asura City. First thing to note is that this city has has these puddles here. So once again, repels if you're walking through the water. Save yourself a headache or 30. So we're going to be exploring Asura City. There's not really much here. The Pokemon here is the same as it found on Route 8. So yeah, not really much here. So, go ahead and uh, take this guy out, aka run a hell away, because we don't really need to fight him. So, here in town, um, things are going to be really interesting. So, coming up here, if I can talk to you, Legend Pokemon gave help to the hero who sought ideals, because of that, a region was created, and then its physical form was lost, and Pokemon became a dark stone, waiting patiently for a new hero. The story I heard when I was little turned out to be true. So, a little bit of uh, foreshadowing what we'll be doing later on. Not this episode, though. Because we got a serious. Wow! <laughs> I'm not going to really need to fight them. So, a serious city, there's not really much here. If you walk in the wetlands, you might surprise. You might find surprise wild Pokemon popping out. Yeah, I've already been dealing with that for like, I don't know how many episodes now. So, here in, the, here in the Pokemon Center. Very useful place. Talking to you, do you have anything? Yeah, you get yourself a black belt here. I think this agrees with the fighting type moves. Yeah, we use fighting type moves. Pretty nice talking to you. Or, or, or. Or that I adore. Ah, oh, this is where you should laugh. Anyways, I'll pay you well for rare ores. Not just ores, stones, gems, shards, anything mineral. I love them all. Do you have an adorable ore that shakes me to the core? So, this here is where you sell your nuggets. Little nuggets, big nuggets, and your stones. You can sell nuggets for $10,000 a pop. Very nice. I got an ore to shake it to the core. Another ore? Alright then. Next up, um... Big Nugget. 30,000. Very nice. Very lucrative grinding spot. Not as great as in Della Town, but still pretty nice. Got that. What else is there? Um, shards. Pretty much they sell it for double. I'll probably sell some stuff I don't need. Nice. 21... 2 million, 100,000. All the monies. Alright then, what else can we sell? We can, you can also sell your uh, stones here, should you want to. Dust stones, I think these evolution stones they sold for about 3,000, not really that great. A poor quality ore. Um, what else we sell? Oval stone pearls, not really too much. Repels. Star piece, here we go. Sells for almost 10,000. Very nice. So that's really about it here. Just all the monies. So we're going to be done there. I don't need to repel anymore. So coming into here, um, you can buy yourself quick balls. I actually need more quicks. Timer, we're good. Dusk, we're uh, pretty good. I don't need dust balls that much. So we're done here in the Pokemon Center. So continuing on through town, um, I want to bring Myrmidon up to the front. I should probably heal first, too. Um... Terraza is going to be here. Yeah. So, we get ourselves something interesting to do later on this episode. I'm going to go ahead and heal quick because I need healing. Give me my heals. There we go. Anyways, continuing on through town, I'm um, talking to you. Legend Pokemon Zekrom shared his wisdom with the hero and defied the foes with, with fierce lightning. The hero and the Pokemon were close as parent and child. It was indeed awe inspiring to see them.
Eh, loogies. So coming up here, we get ourselves to dancing. What I have to say? Here's the ideals. Move forward hand in hand. Sorry, fused by slicers, divided by slicers. When world divided, the world will broaden. That's right, you will dance and you shall be disrupted. Two, truth, ideals, two dragons. Dance. For you have been interrupted by your dance, and now the dragon shall come. Even two years later, you still continue to dance. And yet, one little offset. The dragons will come and devour us all! Alright then, so inside this house, talking to you, is it Russian Zekrom lived, lived together a thousand years? Okay, going a little bit more into the mythos here. Yet those, th those who still believe in people, even in heroes, how foolish. You know, hey, you know, Bryson is a super popular actor again, just like he used to be. After Bryson left, Challenger stopped coming to the gym. Even though you don't change, the things around you sure do. That is true. So, continuing on through town, our next up is going to be here. So I wonder if I'm going to do anything stupid here. Hi, this way please! Exciting, thrilling, zippy, chilling, it's Pep Quiz! Today's challenger is this person! Hiya, welcome! Pep Quiz starts now! Answer lots of quizzy questions and watch your brain get brainier! L let's start with the question! Good luck! A question! What's a two-on-two -two Pokemon battle called? Oh my, we have tremendous difficulty! Can a challenger answer this? Hint! Hint! Oh, the audience is asking for a hint! Okay, we get a hint. Hint! If it's a one-on battle, it's single! Then, if it's two-on-two, -two, then obviously... It's Aggron! No, it's double. At least you got this one, right? Um, trainer? No. Move? No. Where would it be? Um, connection. Double! Hey, I was right, not doing a stupid thing. Oh, that is correct! You go! Yeah, you do! Yeah, yeah, good hustle! Congratulations! Now, this is a prize. It's an antidote! Yay. You can do this once a day for either like an antidote or, antidote or a paralyzed heal. This will be the only time we'll ever... Damn it. Exciting, thrilling, zippy, killing, it's Pep Quiz! See you tomorrow! AKA never again because your rewards are too mediocre. I mean, yeah, it's a nice little fun distraction, but... A definite met out of 10. So, inside this house, we can talk to you. Uh, ahem. I'm the chairman who loves Pokemon and among Pokemon fans in the entire world. If you're a trainer, can you show me how you're raising your Pokemon with love and care? So, we can show you a Pokemon. Let's start with Myrmidon. Well, the Samurai was level 5, and now it's 62. So, you get yourself a cleanse tag depending on how many Pokemon you see. So, so lower encounters you don't get much. If you have mid range, you get yourself um, experience share, cleanse tag, and I think the final reward is um, a king's rock if you range to raise Pokemon from level one to ninety nine. Let's go somebody who hasn't been as old. So experience share, another way to get yourself a free experience share. To, so if you want to raise two Pokemon up, there you go. That's really it there. So we're about done here, but there's one more area I want to go. That's out this way, so I'm going to be right back. I need to go uh, get some water quick. I am very grateful for this rain. Why? We can head up this way. You, congratulations. Guess this won't do anything anymore. No, to precise, he can't do anything anymore. That's why we won't forgive you. Battle us! Other win. That is the only way to regain his lost heart. So, we have ourselves rematches against the Shadow Triad. This set of battles is very interesting. 
So, he's going to be starting with Fish Sharp, level 65. Defined for the ability Iron Head, Night Slash, Low Sweep, and Scary Face. 60 in Easy Mode, 70 in Challenge Mode. Why don't you look at that? It is raining. Um, Surf. Ow. So yeah, very interesting, because with the rain... Well, we can boost our water type moves. Very nice. Night Slash, not so nice. You want to make sure you're healed. You don't want to take any unnecessary risks. Because this is a boss rush and you don't get any healing in between. If you want to fully complete these battles. Next up, another Fish Shark. Ugh. When do Fish Shark number 2? Trouser, sure. Next up, Fish Shark, level 60 slash 65. Inner focus for the ability. Night Slash, Guillotine, x and Sword Stance. That Guillotine, though. Oof. I jump kick. I hit everything. Ugh. Please hit. Poor Favor. There we go. Bitch Sharp is down. Moxie Boost. Nice. I don't really need it, though. Draws a grid 64. Nice. There we go. And lastly, Absol. Um, I can keep you in. Absol level 67. Super lock for the ability. Psycho Punch. Psycho Cut. x are in Aerial Ace. 60, 62 in Easy Mode. 72 in Challenge Mode. I Jump Kick. There we go. Absol is down. Give me my Moxie Boost. So what? A lot of money from this. What do you want? Do you still want to keep battling? Battle for Gestus! This is the only proof that I'm living now. So we have ourselves our second Shadow Triad battle. So, this battle is a triple battle! Fish Sharp level 60, 65, Define for the ability, Iron Head, Night Slash, Low Sweep, and Scary Face. The other one has Night Slash, X, or Guillotine, and Iron, and a Swords Dance. And then, the main one, a Solgor, level 62, 67, 72, Hydration for the ability. Heal itself in the rain. Very nasty. Bug Buzz, Giga Drain, Focus Blast, and Sludge Bomb. Water falling you. Missing you. Rock Blasting you. Ugh, crap. Please don't go from... Okay. Crap. Crap. These battles are not fun! How are you faster? No, seriously, how the hell are you faster? Well, this got very unbalanced. Moxie boost, sure. It'll be healing. Okay, Faraday, come in. Okay. I need to check something, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, waterfall bit sharp. Um, I need to heal you up because you're gonna be kind of useful for the next battle. I don't know. Jump kick. Can thunder hit? No, it cannot. Okay, I need to use this turn to heal you up. Because that guy's going to go for Focus Blast. And then you can Thunder a Cell Board. Okay. Good. Good. This battle's always rough. Night Slash. Ugh. That's a really hurt. Shit. Well, things just got from 0 to 10... Trillion, trillion, jillion. 
Akane, I'm gonna use your turn to max revive. I normally don't like using max revives, but I don't want to abandon this boss rush. I don't. Murder that bitch sharp using the utmost fire. Kill a Silgore. Ugh. Kill him. There we go. Okay, that's battle number two down. Give me a moxie boost. Alright, that's two down. I'm just a shadow after all. You're a little bit more than just a shadow. What do you want? You still want to keep battling? We the Shadow Triad will, uh, and will be the lowest subjects, ser servants of Gestus. And the last round. Ugh. These fights are not fun. Lastly, Shadowgrunt is using his two normal bitch shards at 65 and the uh, defiant one with Iron Head, Night Slash, Little Soup, and Scary Face, and the other one with Inner Focus, Night Slash, Exes, or Guillotine, and Sword Stance. His signature Pokemon, however, is uh, Bennett. Bennett is level 62, 67, 72, and sounding for the ability Shadow Claw, Sucker Punch, Psychic, and Will O Wisp. I'm gonna be spamming Waterfall. Then you go for the Will West. Nice! Great crit. Okay, shift it over. Waterfall again. Okay, going to the other one. Damn, Myrmidon, you're just cleaning house. Level 63. Good. And last one. Waterfall. Whew. Okay. A lot better now. Holy crap, Myrmidon! Vengeful much? How disappointing. So, the Shout Trader are gone. You can fight them once per season. All that for a peepee -pee up. Worth it? Nah, yeah, good for experience. And there's nothing else up there. So you can go over there to that secret patch and once per season you can fight the Shadow Triad. They are pretty tough because, like I said, it's just a single battle followed by a triple battle followed by a rotation battle. The triple battle is easily the hardest because I hate triple battles. I do. I don't know how much this thing I've been mentioning, but I just hate triple battles. Just the limited range and all that stuff just kind of hinders it because you're going to be wasting turns. So pointless. But with that, I think we're pretty good. We're pretty set for right now. You know what this town needs? A change in hue. Alright then. So with that, we have transitioned over to the snowy winter. This area is accessible while has a major change here in winter time. I did change the time and dates. Am I still dead? Nope, I did heal good. That's good. I don't think we'll be doing any more fighting this episode. So, in, in a serious city in the surrounding areas, the standing water will be changed to ice, so you can't get this Pokemon that are normally found in the standing water. We're going to be heading up here, though. Because inside this house, we get ourselves some very interesting things. Talking to you. We tried to expand the ocean, but there were fewer Pokemon that would live on land. It, it might make the Pokemon in the ocean sad. Oh, this is a gift from my darling boyfriend. We were going to make more land, but we realized it would cause problems for Pokemon living in the sea. Oh, don't tell my girlfriend. Huh, Aqua Magma relationships patched up. I'm going to be talking to you at the end of the episode. If I remember. Don't mind me, I probably won't. So, nothing up here. Alright then. So in wintertime, some minor things have changed besides, well, uh... I think this is our first instance fight going around in wintertime, because... Springtime's kinda useless, fall time's only useful for like one little thing. Eh well, right here you yourselves a Max Elixir. A Maxi Elixir. 
which is all nice and dandy. Next up, this leads up here to, um... Dragon Spiral Tower. Never melt ice to begin off. So yeah, there's no new Pokemon available here in the grass. I'm not really going to bother. So I'll be saving Dragon Spell Tower for the next episode. So that is really it for the uh, snow areas. There's not really much to notice, just some minor things, but... Let's head into the gym. So cool, isn't it? That strong figure standing there in the background. Well, we can go through this gym. There's no trainers here whatsoever. So let's go ahead and uh, hop our way around. Not really much else here. Now let's see if I can remember how to solve this puzzle. There we go. Nope, here we go. Up here. Come on down. Alright then, so hopping on across, we can go up here. Come on down. I wonder if they uh, patched that rock. They did. <laughs> they patched one little rock, but they didn't bat patch another rock. Too bad that rock isn't really um, useful anymore. So come on down. Yeah, in the original black and white, there was a rock there that you, that you could go on, but nevertheless, we have ourselves someone. We have ourselves a bison here. Let's go in for a challenge. Well. Since you came all the way here. I see. Yes. Hmm. Well then. Looking forward to it. Sensei, he called. Oh, you're looking... Sorry. You're looking well. Hey, I heard you were, you're going back to acting. Indeed. Team Plasma's action stirred the hearts of the public. People even worry about how to interact with Pokemon. Of course, it's good to think about the relationships, but still. Even if you told the, even if you were told to find the answer on your own, it's not exactly an easy thing to do now, is it? That's why. If people can see my bond with my Pokemon when they're watching my movies, it might ease their worries. That is my reasoning. Oh, I get it now. Can I communicate that by holding, by holding up in the gym and ta taking on challengers? But are you going to be all right? What if you get hurt during film filming again? Marshall, Bison has already decided. Sometimes learning can can destroy potential. I'm fine. I have no doubts in my decision. Also, I appreciate Marshall's concern. I was young. I thought I could do any kind of action scene. So I put myself in unnecessary danger. I thought this bravery w was my value as a person. So, instead of trying to communicate something through my acting, I simply sought amazing action. That's how I got hurt. I think I understand. If you seek strength for its own sake, the reason why you wanted, wanted it in the first place becomes vague. And you end up desiring victory and nothing else. That is why I'm also made an important decision. I'm going to resign as champion. We in particular need to take another look at what it means to live together with Pokemon. The world at large is still, still shaken by uncertainty. So I, so I have to show everyone a new hope. Well, if that's what you decided, Sensei. Even if I argue, that won't change your decision, will it? You've grown so much since you sought me and asked me asked to be my pupil. Could that be it? To become part of the Elite Four will help you grow in its own way. I thought if I became strong, my Pokemon would become stronger. Maybe I grew, grew up because my Pokemon taught me that this isn't always the case. Well then, will you spar with me? I will observe. Thank you. I want to be, to be sure my Pokemon are in top condition to challenge the trainer who will become the next champion. To strength! To Pokemon! I was grateful for everyone's support. In the past, when I was hurt and depressed, Alder shared this with me. There is strength in being with other people in Pokemon. Receiving their support makes you stronger. I worked as a gym leader and I came to understand what he meant by that. 
My desire to become strengthened by his relationship that makes everyone stronger. The rela relationship between Pokemon and people. By focusing on the path of an Acto, I want to make everyone think that act living together with Pokemon is exciting and wonderful. Teaching is being taught. Excuse me, it is time for training. There we go. So that is the end of that. So now we know a little bit more about why Elder isn't the champion. More or less through it. More or less through his championship away. Kinda reminds me of Pokemon. So, I think we've made pretty good progress this episode. We managed to explore most of Asura City. What only lies left is to the north of town. So, there's one more thing I want to do before I conclude the episode off. Next time in Pokemon Black and White 2, we had a Dragon Spiral Tower. I'll see you guys then. Now let's talk to you. I might not look like it, but I'm a sound designer. I want folks to hear my wonderful music, so I'm traveling all over the parts. How about, how about giving my favorite music a listen? Well, shucks. Have a good listen then.